every U.S. ship that has been sunk since the USS Maine in Havana Harbor in 1898 has been investigated by the Congress. And none, none of them have ever bothered to uh, attack, to investigate the attack on the Liberty. Ninety percent of the country doesn't know what the liberty is, was, or what happened to it. The reality of what happened is it was not a mistake, and it was, they wanted to sink us. And, and uh, what does that mean to this country? Never before has the U.S. Navy ignored eyewitness testimony of American military to accept on faith the story told by their attackers. This is not a story about what Israel did and what America did. It's what some people in very powerful positions did in both countries. They said they made a mistake. It was an accidental shooting and our government has accepted that. So it was always written off as an accident. The aircraft was sent to make us incommunicado so we couldn't send an SOS out. Torpedo boats were sent to sink us and the helicopters were sent to pick off survivors so there'd be no choice. It was a perfectly executed military operation. That doesn't happen by accident. That's, that's, that's a coordinated you know, military strike. It's a terrific combination of American money, French equipment, and Israeli Air Force pilot. The way to Cairo, the way to Damascus, the way to Amman is through Washington now. The liberty was sent to that part of the eastern Mediterranean, right into the middle of the war zone, to be a target of some sort. You know how much press the nuclear warheads got when they landed in Cuba? Well, this was a thousand times worse, but nobody knows about it. The L3 committee was simply a device for examining covert operations of any kind and making a judgment on behalf of the president, so he wouldn't be nailed with the thing if it failed. So as soon as the first nuclear weapon was detonated in Cairo, the Dome of the Rock would be dis disintegrated. The major power, when it believes its vital interests are involved, will, will sacrifice any number of its own people to preserve that vital interest. I am not saying anything about the liberty, period.